Hi everyone, it's Albert. Happy New Year! And this is the first decoding video of 2021. And today let's solve the median question from the contest Ways to Split Array into Three Subarrays. The question statement So we are given an integer array, and we will say a split of an integer array is good if the array can be split into three uh, non empty continuous subarrays. And we will call it left, mid, and right subarrays. And then the sum of these uh, elements in the left subarray should be less or equal to the sum of the median subarray. And the sum of the median subarray should be less than or equal to the sum of the elements in the right subarray. And we have to return the number of good ways that we are able to split the input nums array. For example, one, the nums array is an array of 1, 1, and 1. And the only good way to split this array is with elements of 1 in each. And for ex example 2, there are three ways, three good ways of splitting the nums array, which is as uh, following. And for example 3, since the nums array is in a descending order, so there's no good way to split uh, this array to satisfy this requirement. In a data constraint for this question, the length of the nums array can go up to the 10 up to the power of 5. The intuition to solve this question First, since we need to calculate the subarray sum of left, median, and right, so we can think of the prefix sum array to calculate, calculate this. And this technique, we also used this to solve uh, one of the contest questions before. And next, at every index i in the prefix sum array, which I denote as presum here, we want to find all index j such that uh, presum i will be smaller or equal to uh, presum j minus presum i. And this should be less or equal to presum negative 1 minus presum j. And this uh, terms represents the sum of the left, median, and right subarray of the input nums. And next, if we try to uh, rearrange uh, this key condition, we will see that presum j will have a left boundary of 2 times uh, presum i. And presum j will have a right boundary of uh, this term here. So now the goal will become finding the left and right boundary of presum j and to determine how many j's will satisfy these key conditions. And there's another key constraint in this question that all nums in the nums array is positive. So the prefix sum array will be uh, sorted in nature because they are just uh, accumulated sum. And since presum is sorted, so we are able to use a binary search to find the left and right boundary of j. Now let's look at the code. Okay, and first is to create the prefix sum array. And we will append a dummy zero at the front. And next is to iterate through the prefix sum array. We can use Python's bisect left and bisect right API to binary search the left and right boundary of J. And finally, update rest. And notice here that because of how a binary search work, we have to take the minimum of the size of numbers array or R and the maximum of I plus one and L and take the difference and add it into rest. We will see why this is needed in the next section. Now let's see the code in action. Okay, and here we'll be looking at uh, example two. And here is the prefix sum array. And we will start at index one. And first step is to uh, find the left and right boundary. So at index one, two times uh, presum one is two. And presum one plus presum negative one divided by two is six. So the left and right boundary is 2 and 4. 
So that means that any j in between 2 to 4 will satisfy the key uh, requirements. So the number of good ways we can split the nums array is 4 minus 2, which is 2. Now move to uh, index 2. And again, binary search the left and right boundary. So 2 times presum 2 is 6. And presum 2 plus presum negative 1 divided by 2 is 7. So now left and right boundary is index 4 and 5. So we will add the difference into rest. And now rest will become 3. At index 3, following the same process. And for index 3, uh, left and right boundary will be both at uh, index 5. So rest won't be updated and will be still be 3. And this will be the same when we move to uh, index 4 and 5. But when we move to index 6, with this uh, calculation, the left and right boundary will be uh, both 7 because uh, this is how the API will return. And they actually fall out of the presum array boundary. So that is why we have to uh, cap maximum of R at uh, the length of nums array and then floor the left boundary at I plus 1. And because again, the left and right boundary overlapped, so rest won't be updated. So we will return a rest equal to 3 at the end. And this will conclude the algorithm. Finally, let's review. So for this question, it's not that straightforward, and it did require a multi-stage approach. So first is to use the prefix sum technique to calculate the sum of the left, median, and right sum array. And the key condition to satisfy is this. And then we have to find how many j's will satisfy uh, this condition at every index i. And because all the item in the nums array is positive, so the prefix sum array will be sorted in nature. So that means that we can use a binary search to find the left and right boundary of j. And the time complexity of this approach is uh, n log n. Because when we iterate through the prefix sum array, we have to perform a binary search every time. And then space complexity will be uh, linear for the prefix sum array. And that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one.